John Quincy Adams was the sixth president of America and was the son of the second president, John Adams. John Quincy Adams is remembered for helping to formulate the Monroe Doctrine, negotiating the Treaty of Ghent, and leading the fight to force Congress to receive anti-slavery petitions. He was born on July 11, 1767, in Braintree, Massachusetts. He was the son of the second U.S. President, John Adams, and he was destined to become the sixth president. He died on February 23, 1848, after collapsing on the floor of the White House two days earlier. The career of John Quincy Adams included the roles of a lawyer, politician, and statesman. He had an excellent education, studying at European schools, and graduated from Harvard in 1787. He became the sixth president of America in 1825, and served for four years until 1829. He spent a miserable and unproductive four years in office trying to work with an uncooperative Congress. John Quincy Adams married Louisa Catherine Johnson in London, and he remains the only president to have a foreign-born first lady. She was the daughter of Joshua Johnson, an American merchant, and Catherine Nuth Johnson, an Englishwoman. They had four children whose names were Louisa, George, John, and Charles. John Quincy Adams belonged to the Democratic-Republican political party. He was 58 years old when he was inaugurated as the sixth president, but his presidency was marred by accusations that he won his position through corruption. John Quincy Adams owned a pet alligator, which he kept in the East Room of the White House, and he also had the first pool table installed in the White House. John Quincy Adams was 5 feet 7 inches in height, and spoke in a high, shrill voice. It was well known that he liked to swim in the nude in the Potomac River. After being refused interviews with him, a female journalist called Anne Royal gathered his clothes and sat on them until she had her interview. Before this, no female had ever interviewed a president. He was the first president to have his photo taken on April 13, 1843. During his lifetime, he played a key role in major events of the era. John Quincy Adams was instrumental in formulating the Monroe Doctrine and negotiating the Treaty of Ghent in 1814 that ended the War of 1812 between the United States and Great Britain. He led the fight to force Congress to receive anti-slavery petitions and gaining Florida from Spain. During his life, John Quincy Adams suffered from depression, cerebral hemorrhage, and a stroke. Because of his recurring depression, he often appeared dour or angry. Nevertheless, he had an outgoing, social, even joyful side as well. He died at the age of 80 years old. He died of paralysis caused by a stroke on February 23, 1848, at the House of Representatives and died in the Speaker's room inside the Capitol building. There was a national outpouring of mourning and thousands filed through the Capitol where his body was laid in state. His body was carried by train to Boston, where he was buried in the family crypt below the new First Parish Church building in Quincy. So ends our short biography about the life and presidency of John Quincy Adams. He is remembered for helping to formulate the Monroe Doctrine, negotiating the Treaty of Ghent, and leading the fight to force Congress to receive anti-slavery petitions. The next U.S. president was Andrew Jackson. <laughs>